Alright, what's up YouTube? G-Funk coming back post-fight to uh, Brandon Rios, Mike Alvarado. Um, hell of a fight, man. Um, just back and forth early. Um, both guys getting hurt. Both guys exchanging a lot of punches early on in the fight. And then uh, Mike Alvarado decided to uh, stay disciplined and uh, box Brandon Rios. And that's what he did. And he pulled out the victory. Um... I picked Alvarado to win by decision, and um, that's that's exactly what he did. He uh, basically decided to use the jab and fire that overhand right that Brandon Reels couldn't get out of the way of. Um, you know, now uh, both guys have a, a win against each other, and um, everybody's expecting uh, a third fight, and... You know, it's going to happen. You know, they, they got to do it again, obviously. I mean, they both got to win. Someone's got to break the tie. Um, in my opinion, I think that if these guys are smart, they should stay away from each other for a while and, um, you know, do the rubber match down the road sometime. I just think that after coming off two, two brutal fights that they've had back-to-back, uh, and I mean, shit, both of these guys they didn't even make the the uh, post fight press conference. You know, they're both in the hospital after the fight. I mean, if they're smart and they want to they want to think long term, I think you should definitely stay away from each other for a while. Um, you know, fight somebody else, fight you know another fighter that's not gonna stand there and brawl with you and, and get into those kind of wars. You know, um, you know maybe take an easy fight or something like that. But I definitely don't think that. Uh, It'd be smart for them to get back in right away and do three times in a row. Um, I know that there's going to be a lot of people that do want to see an immediate rubber match, but you know, either way, I think if they fight uh, in six months from now or six years from now, it's going to be the same. They're both going to come in there and mix it up like they do, because I mean, that's just that's just the way the styles, you know, clash in the ring. But um. You know, it was a it was a very very good fight. Um, you know, I, I kind of figured that Mike Alvarado was gonna do what he did, um, but I want to give I want to give some credit to Brandon Reels here. Um, now I think that HBO kind of overdid it when they were uh, talking about Brandon Reels really improving on his defense. Um, <laughs> you know, let's you know when you think about a guy like Brandon Reels, you don't think about him being you know, a, a, a guy who's very defensive in the ring. Although he did do a much better job of catching some punches with the gloves. But, I mean, at the end of the day, he was getting hit with four or five punch combinations from Alvarado. I mean, <laughs> I mean that's not good defense when you get hit with that many punches in a row. Um, but, he, like I said, he did do a, a little bit better job of, of trying to catch some of those punches that Alvarado was throwing with the gloves. Um... And I, I also think he, he improved his jab. He was trying to jab with Alvarado, and, um, you know, he ended up hurting him in the second round with a good stiff jab to the face, and um, Alvarado survived the round. He came back the very next round and hurt him. You know, it was it was just very exciting at the beginning, but, um, yeah, I just want to mention that about Brandon Rios. Um he didn't make many adjustments. I mean, he made some minor adjustments, but not not too many. I mean, you could kind of tell that he had, uh, you know, that mentality that he was just going to walk through this guy and, and knock him out again. And I think Alvarado kind of knew that was going to happen and um, decided to, to box when he needed to and brawl when he needed to. And um, that was a very wise decision on his part to do that. And I think that that's what really got him over the top. His jab was was very looking real nice. Uh, that that overhand right. I mean, Rios just <laughs> he just I don't think you can see that thing coming. He got hit with it so many times. But um, you know I give him credit, man. There was times where it looked like he was really really hurt and hit really tired, and he just kept pushing forward, man. He's a warrior. I mean, both of these guys are. But um, you know at the end of the day, Alvarado was. I think he was just you know just a little bit more wiser in the ring than uh, Brandon Rios was. So, um, you know, 
big time credit to both of these dudes. Uh, they put on a hell of a fight. You know, you can't ask for much more as far as entertainment value goes when you talk about a, a fight like this. But um, it's right up there um, with uh, Bradley and Provodnikov. Hope, I hope I'm saying his name right. But they had a hell of a, a fight too. Uh, right now, for me, it's it's you know neck and neck for fight of the year so far. But um, you know both fights were great. Both had you know they're both very entertaining. And um, you know I can't wait to see what happens now with uh, Alvarado and Rios. What they're gonna do next? Like I said, hopefully they don't decide. I, I'm hoping that they decide to stay away from each other for a little bit fight, you know, a couple of, maybe two, three fights in between, and then get back in there and, and uh, fight each other one more time, so, yeah, that's my reaction to the fight there, um, let me know what you guys think, um, as for who, 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 who they should fight next, you know, the division is stacked, man, I mean, there's a lot of guys at, at 140 pounds, um, the only problem is the you know the promotion companies don't want to work with each other, so but I mean that ain't gonna stop us from you know <laughs> coming up with with matchups of our own you know so let me know what you guys think about the fight how it went down um, if you thought Rios won the fight I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some people out there who thought he won it but um yeah let me know what you think let me know who you think they should fight this is G Funk and um, signing off man. Catch you on the next video.